In this video, we'll look at how we can apply Pythagoras' theorem to problems in 3D. Before we do this, you need to make sure you're comfortable with Pythagoras' theorem in 2D. If you need to recap this, scroll up the page and watch the video for G20A part 1. Now, let's check out this question. We have a cuboid and we need to work out the length of this diagonal here. By the way, by joining opposite vertices in a cuboid like this, you end up getting the longest possible line segment that you can fit into the cuboid. Anyway, to work out this length here, here's what we do. We need to spot two right angle triangles in here. First of all, we've got triangle EFH, which I'll highlight in yellow. Secondly, we've got triangle AHF, which I'll highlight in green. Now I'm going to turn this 3D problem into a 2D problem by sketching these two triangles out separately. Now these are just sketches, they don't have to be drawn accurately. Let's label these up. EF, that's this length here, which is five centimeters and HE is this length here, that's 12 centimetres. And let's label up the green triangle. We only have this length here, that's AF, which is four centimetres. AF is here, so I'm going to label that four centimetres. Now remember, what are we looking for? We're looking for the length AH, that's this length here, now, do we have enough information on this green triangle to work out AH? Unfortunately, we don't. Now, if we had HF here, we could use Pythagoras' theorem. We'd know that this side squared plus this side squared would give us the length of this side squared. But unfortunately, we don't have the length HF. But look at this. HF is actually part of the yellow triangle as well. We can see that in 3D. HF is one of the sides of the yellow triangle, but it is also one of the sides of the green triangle. So can we work out length HF from this yellow triangle? Using Pythagoras' theorem, we know that this length squared plus this length squared will give us this length squared. So let's write that down. 5 squared plus 12 squared will give us HF squared. Now, 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, and if we add 25 and 144, we end up getting 169. So 169 equals HF squared. Now, that means HF is going to be the square root of 169. So HF is the square root of 169, which is just 13. So this side here is 13 centimetres. So here's what we found. HF, that's 13 centimetres, which means we can label this onto our green triangle. That there is 13 centimetres. Now we can use Pythagoras' theorem with the green triangle to find length AH. We know 4 squared plus 13 squared will give us AH squared. The left-hand side of this equation works out to 16 plus 169, which is 185. So AH squared is 185. And that means AH equals the square root of 185. Now, that's not something we'd be expected to calculate in our heads, but using a calculator, we find AH equals the square root of 185, which is 13.6 to the nearest 0.1 centimetre. So our length here is 13.6 centimetres. Now, there are a couple of shortcuts you can take in this process that I haven't covered in this video. But what's important is that you understand what we have done. We haven't used a fancy new theorem. We've just looked for right angle triangles within the 3D shape and just used plain old Pythagoras' theorem on those triangles.